great Peter Norwood for a while. Do you remember that game, the Norwood Hotel game? But nowadays, Caetano just holes up in his pizza shop making his pies all day. There are rumors, Tugboat. Something's not right about Caetano. Something's not right about him. You say something, Pops? Anyway, here's a picture of the sax for reference. Do whatever it takes to get it. At the very least, working for Caetano will give you an inside angle on his operation. Once you retrieve the sax, we'll find you. We need the money in that sax. It's worth a small fortune in this market. Besides, Pops' medical bills aren't going to pay themselves, eh? Here's some cash. Probably want to buy a few things while you're here. And one last thing. Good luck. We believe in you. Eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. Oh, this is gonna be great, isn't it? I'm already loving this. Hang on a minute. Was that. Was that a dog on the money? Speaking music. Uh, hello, brain sonatas. <laughs> uh, perhaps a trip to the factory for a little meet and greet. Save it, we've got other priorities to deal with at the moment. I know why you're here. I saw the help wanted sign at Caetano's window, but even Caetano... If he does take you on, that doesn't mean you get to stick your face in place that doesn't belong. Ah, uh, that does put a smile on my face. Don't cause a stir and we'll all get along just fine. Big Mo's watching. Sale. Whoa. The sounds are just assaulting me, and, it, and I'm fine with it. mind living in a city where everyone plays an instrument. What the fuck? Got a little sale going on here. Bone xylophone. A hat from another time. The old camera. Press tab to open inventory and select camera. Set the shutter speed. That's very interesting. Huh. Okay, this is like an oddly like comp. <laughs> An oddly competent camera. That old camera even comes with custom film. Look at your pictures, enter inventory, and then click on the photo box. I, I'm a pretty good photographer. 
Tempo. You must first climb the Silver Monkey Temple. I don't know. I couldn't think of any specific Legends of the Hidden Temple things. Just the Shrine of the Silver Monkey is the only one that comes to mind right away. Those brain cells are long gone. Wait, did the apartment want me to take its picture? The building said take its picture, okay. I took its picture. Oh yes, the four, five, the banana, the skull, and the eye. Good, reliable lines. So this is the pizza place. Yeah, this is, this is fucking cool. I fucking have had dreams like this. off. <laughs> Who did- this dude looks like someone. He looks like the other dude from the stoop sale. Let me just adjust the fecal distance. serve a variety of slices for all appetites and tastes. Alright, well, I want a pizza. What do I order a pizza? I'm not even sure they make pizza. I haven't seen a single pizza. Okay. 16 inch pizza made to order. $40. $40. New York City prices. Today's ingredients, pepperoni, mushroom, basil, sliced mutts. Here in New York, you have to say mutz, and Philadelphia too, I believe. It's not mats, it's mutz. pizza artwork, but I think my other masterpiece should be here. That's good. 40 is a little much for a pizza, though. I'm gonna return to that. I just want to explore a little bit before I advance the plot. I want to see whatever the fuck else is happening here. Fine, normal things. since 87. Worked at the Big Human Resource Horizons Research and Manufacturing Center across the street. <laughs> What's going on with your neck? I don't know where to begin! Carl, you're an idiot! Play a record! saw what they did inside, no one ever told me, they never asked, seemed proud of their work. Got 
a memo we were being retired with full benefits. I had 10 years left before I could claim those kinds of benefits, but hey, I couldn't say no to an easy life of early retirement. Call me lazy. From my comfy perch, I've seen the neighborhood. What has become? Something has to be done about it. There's a lot of unfinished business here. A lot of secrets well kept. Dots still unconnected. We have plans for you, tugboat. How did you know my na How did you know my name? Beluga Row added to your pizza station? So, whale song. This is definitely one of those things. This is one of those Sunday stream games. <laughs> I mean, this developer has gotten so much, like... I mean, there was already a strong style between the first game and the Norwood game, but then you have this. It just feels like improvement, like, you know, evolution. I really like this. Just like seeing weirdo little games like this, they're, they're just so fascinating to me. I'm glad that the developer continues to make little story, ambient games like this. And guitar is such a beautiful instrument. I mean, I'm a little biased. It's jazz. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't classify it, but some really interesting progressions. Norwood's last rehearsal tapes. Jackie's Viola de Gamba. I want to buy one of these for real life. Lips Attack. Ballad of a Thug. Cones of Confounding. You pick the right time to drop in. If you can afford something on my shelf, go ahead and buy it. Gaetano, who runs the pizza spot across the canal, he asked me to sell some of his stuff on consignment. Good stuff, practical. I asked him why he's selling it. He said the truth hides in plain sight, whatever that means. Anyway, you look like you have some cash on you, so... Gaetano and I go way back. He opened his pizzeria not long after I opened my pawn shop here. He was a musician before that. Incredible player, really. Never forget. This looks like someone's father. Like, a, a friend that I grew up with. Like, his dad. Like, to a T. I'll never forget his playing in Norwood's ensemble. Norwood gets a bad rap for the way he treated his musicians, but he took exception to Caetano. Norwood even invested in his pizza place. Maybe he thought it would fail, and Caetano would lose interest in pizza. And they could go back on the road together, but life takes us in unexpected directions, tugboat. So it does. There's a downstairs, too. Looks like a cool place to hang out. I'd hang out here. Too far along to deal anyone in new. Oh, let's cross out if we had another player. Got pizza on my mind. Catano's Pizza, that old standby. Grew up eating that pie, but the quality is starting to fall off. Well, thank Gourmand. How was the food at Modelo Corporate Cafeteria? You're one to ask. Four stars? How's the food at PS55? Ouch, no stars. Surprised? Surprised you even have a job after all these days, Hans. 
teaching substitute, it's nice if you can get it. Nice work. Considering the state of our transit system. I know, right? Seriously, Hans, I thought you'd never leave your aunt's basement. It's a new chapter for me, I'll take it. Speaking of the new chapter, when you told me you were working for the Modulo. Modulo. Edna. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Modulo made me a real offer, but you're such a great trombonist. Never going to be the next Desmond Diamond? Dustin Diamond? No? Oh, that's Screech. Never mind. Modulo. Modulo. Norwood's trombone concerto concerto, it practically poured out of you. You were just so good at it. You did a lot of things, Hans. A lot of people can play Norwood's trombone concerto, Edna. This music is starting to freak me out. Do you want me to play Norwood's trombone concerto on command or what? So make me an offer, then I can beat Mojulo starting salary and wipe out all of my student loans. Well, hey, I'm in a band. We'll make it work. You live in your van, Jeremy. Yep. Yeah, we were just a band. Yeah, no. We were a band. Just a band. A little band. Simply a little band. Octagon. I guess the film, it's like different types of films. None of that stuff works. It's fine. All right. Yep. Well, let's just get out of here. I don't. I. I can't. I don't think I can continue listening to that music. It's making me feel a little uncomfortable for some reason. Don't know why. I don't think whatever the fuck is going on here is going to be finishable tonight. And I am doing a hard cutoff so I can get to the haunted PS1 demo disc. Um, but I would be happy to resume this at some point. I don't know why I like shit like this. Whatever you want to call it, whatever you feel about it, I just happen to enjoy the ambience of this. Um, so I'll definitely continue this on some other occasion. Blue sardines added to your pizza station. Hi, kitty. Like, look, look at this. Yeah, avant-garde adventures are fine by me if they're done well. And this seems to be done very well. That's the most realistic cat breathing I've ever seen in a video game. playing ping pong in there. So no one's gonna take care of this train. Man, this city really has gone to shit, huh? If that train... <laughs> if that falls off there, that's gonna barrel down the street. So many living things will die. I'm not saying specifically which living things. Okay, but many of the living things will die. many of the things here. So that's why it needs to be fixed right away. This just looks like a chill place to hang out. Like, I would- I would hang out on the street. Film. Did I not have permission to take your film? Why is this basketball huge? I don't know who 
your landlord is. I've just arrived. Centipede infestation? Fuck off. Cat skeletons behind our fake wall? That's, um... Mm, what? He only did raise our rent once. Ten bucks. This landlord, you get what you pay for. You think Big Mo's daughter will follow in his footsteps? He doesn't realize what she's inheriting. One second. Let's just adjust the heat. A lot more than just a row of walk-ups, huh? Developers are coming. We'll get an evacuation notice like the one Chloe got. If that happens, I'll buy you a pizza at Caetano's, my treat. What about the noises I heard coming from the basement? Big Mo doesn't want us down there. End of story. Chloe ain't sleeping on my couch. She won't have to. Plenty of vacancies in Building 9. Building 9, ugh, that place. Their necks are all made of jelly. If we get tossed, we might end up there too. As soon as I sleep out in the van, Building 9 isn't for anyone. Who's in charge anymore? stuff over this way, and then I'll go make some pizza. Wait, someone said look at the house to the left? The basketball is for the net attached to the house behind them. Oh, shit! Yeah, that, that's a big fucking basketball net. Hoop. It's a big hoop. I get it now. Andre the Giant might be able to get it in there, but yeah. I couldn't. Definitely lacking the stamina. So wasn't Building 9 a piece of shit? Wow. Martini olives for the pizza. Sack softening. This sounds like some weird interactive experience. Some music you'd get for some kind of like strange, like, um, interactive theater. Like Sleep No More, which is something I've mentioned on stream a couple times. Actually, the music they pipe into that shit sounds exactly like that. I'll be back. I gotta make some pizza, then we'll talk. This house is crying. need to expose it for longer to affect the film, maybe. Let's see. Oh shit, you're right! Oh, nice! Yeah, that's, that's good. You know? I want to see this with an, a 10 second shutter speed. You should get some like kind of interesting pictures.
too dark. Can't see. Some of these pictures would look good on the pizza shop. Okay, yeah, the black and white photos didn't seem like they'd be black and white at first, but... Yeah, this is- this is cool. This is cool, I like- I like that there's cameras and film and stuff like that. I'm gonna replace some of my, um... Yeah, that's a good one. Alright, we can... You don't need a picture of the owner in here. You, you probably want something a little bit more artistic. Arti- artisanal. Yeah? Yeah, you want some fucking artisanal? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, now you need to see that I am qualified for your job. A letter of recommendation. Let's see that. To whom it may concern... Blah, 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 consummate professional, easy disposition, strong handshake, willing to work late, whatever, whatever. Reads like any old boilerplate letter. Nice paper texture, though. That letter's bogus. Tugboat, or whatever your name is. So you're finally gonna hire me, Caetano? Tugboat, here's a big phony! No, no, you, Tugboat, you're perfect for everything. Yes, it's all crystal clear. To start, my supply of sauce needs to be refilled, and there's a jar of it in the basement. If you could just bring up a jar of sauce from down there... That'll get us started. This could be me, Caetano, hauling sauce jars, chopping onions. For all we know, Tugboat's up to something. Do you want to be an assistant, Maxine? If Tugboat needs any help, you'll provide it, right? But, ugh, fine. You'll be helping me by helping Tugboat, Maxine! This work is better suited to someone with no personal ties to the neighborhood. You'll understand soon enough, Tugboat. Patience, Maxie. Give me a break. There's a mysterious door here, too. I wish I had a room like this. Microtonal ecstasy. <laughs> Flying microtonal banana. I mean ecstasy. That is certainly the sauce. There it is, chat. The famous saxophone. What if music was rare? Like it used to be. What if, like, there were only ever a hundred copies of the Beatle records? And you had to go to a location to hear them. And you ha you couldn't listen to it at home. No, I don't mean like it used to be. There is, you know, not like, I'm not talking about the way it used to be, but... Like, say, say the Beatles only ever made a hundred Sgt. Pepper pressings. And there was no way to listen to it. Unless you went to a location and it would tour around like once a year you, you could go to a place to hear Sgt. Pepper But it would be kind of like legendary Like but there would be no devices that would play music Technology advanced as far as it did but not to hear music in any way shape or form It would be like a fucking ecstasy experience if you eventually, you know, got to hear the music that you wanted to hear for the first time. The recording industry's wet dream, yeah. <laughs> Someone just said capitalistic drivel. I wasn't talking about the money part. Why did you apply money to that? I just wanted, like, what if music was special? In the sense that you could only hear it, like, one time.
go ahead and pour the sauce into the sauce vat by the pizza making station to my right. I think some folks, you know, assume I was actually literally proposing a change to the way the world works, and they got like kind of, you know, upset about that. Folks, I, I'm here to tell you, life will go on as is. I, I've been called a communist. C-U-M... U-M... Unist. Next step is to actually commit to making the pie itself. The order computer to my right will provide you with your first order. The dough on the counter is calling your name, Tugboat. That was fucking magical. Study the form, embrace the formation. Sprinkle ingredients till you're satisfied, then press and hold the green button for one second. I love this. Sauce dollops, yeah? You don't start with the pepperoni. Uh, that was my mistake. Where's the cheese? Ah, uh, fresh mozz. There it is. There are places that do the fresh uh, mozzarella like this, though. They just put on the slice, the slices of it, and it leopards nicely. A couple more pepperonis. I like a, a little bit of extra pep on my pizza. Uh, I throw a little fresh basil on there. I like a little fresh basil. There's a couple places in the city that do amazing pizza, and it's always got some fresh basil on it. I'm gonna make a pizza I would eat before I start adding fucking beluga whale shit and pet and pineapple, which is about the same thing in my book. 2% covered with cheese? No, 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 the cheese spreads. I don't think it's gonna quite spread out the way we want in game, but in real life, like, there's a place called Keste in the West Village of New York City, and that's what they do with the cheese. They don't do a ton of it, but it's just perfect. Oh, there's the leoparding. It's fucking roll! It's shit! Luke Belmont, brother of Simon. Chef, did you like the pizza? Chef? Yes! Get fucked! Where does- where does Luke Belmont live? Luke Belmont will slice his own pizza. Forty-seven Yam Street, top floor. Okay, some of the houses are modeled. What the fuck is going on in there? Remember though, folks, pizza can be a lot of different things to a lot of people. But objectively, I'm right about pizza when I say that I like it a certain way.
Oh, no, I meant you are, chat. I meant, no, I meant the chat is. All 5,000... I'm oh, sorry, 10,000 of you. Yeah, can I use your bathroom first? Not only can I use your bathroom, can I look inside your fucking cabinets and drawers and see what kind of stuff you have in your house? Oh, that's... like... Pipes. It's like organ stuff. Delivery. Just, just let me into your house. Uh, at last, my morning meal. Let's see what's in this box, eh? Pizza for breakfast every day, Barkley. Why is his son a miniature version of him with beard and glasses? Certain days, pizza needs a sauce bath. Clearly, this is one of those days, Tugboat, you understand. In the kingdom of hogs, Tugboat, you are notorious given the amount of pepperoni on this pie. Besides, I don't care what my cardiologist says. Embrace decadence. There will be no mushrooms eating, entering my mouth today. A relief, in fact. A cheese lover would look at this pizza and fall in love with cheese all over again. He likes the cheese. Basil on pizza unifies the unruly competition of flavor under one banner. The banner of a distinctive pizza maker like you or Caetano. I love it, Tugboat. For your hard work, I want to give you something. Not bad. Not a bad pie, Tugboat. Not bad at all. And as for this pizza here, dear pizza, I want you to meet my mouth. Fuck is this game? What is this game? He just ascended. He and his son, aka clone have ascended into another higher, even higher realm. I cannot make chocolate chip pizza. I shouldn't, but I could. Okay, I don't know why that is there, but, um, this fucking floor. Man, this fucking floor. That rug. Some of you... had that rug. I had it. Oh wait, no, I didn't have it. It was a fucking collective internet fever dream that made me believe I had it. Slaw bags. Ah, oh, it's my favorite book. Isn't that the Norwood Hotel? I still really want to know where this dude went with his son. I wanted to get a better look at his child. Because the child had a beard and it was weird. There was nothing to feared. Oh. Where's your- where's your son? A, what is he? What is he bathing in? It's a sauce bath. It says moose on it. I'm telling you, that thing was a clone. That was a clone. This game is kind of dope. I use that word, dope. Apotheosis film. Ah, oh, it's my favorite card.
Kind of a cool um, photo. shot composition a little bit better. <laughs> oh my god, I want this. This is the best place to live. I want to live here. Off-peak city is amazing. The weather's always perfect. Light breeze. It's like 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe 78 sometimes. Maybe 74 sometimes. But just in that ballpark with a very, very light breeze. Too hot? No, I like that. I'm very okay with 75 degrees. 68 degrees. Oh, okay. You like it a little colder? For me... I like it colder when I'm sleeping, but if I'm to, like, live outside and be outside, I like, like, a good 75, 74. <laughs> Vinny, why do I feel like you will regret living here? Well, if I could stream from here, I'm fine. <laughs> That's all I need. Got pizza, I got music, I got my streaming gear, I'm, I'm good. What's a Fahrenheit? Oh, it's Alucard's middle name. Chat, what did I just pick up? This, right? Let's see. Aesthetics. Also, what happened here? Routine extraction of a citizen requiring emergency attention. Move along. Wait, really? Isn't this the pizza place right here? What happened? Caetano. There you are. It's all as I suspected. The time has come, Tugboat. The store is yours now. What?! When the calls come in, the ingredients are all there. And you can get more. I left something for you by the cooking station. Just keep the pizza place running. You didn't see any of this. Don't play into anyone's plans. You are your own person, Tugboat. Make the pizzas your way. Jan, Clarice, once they know the truth, they'll come back. The pain- Oh! Please avoid causing any unnecessary distress. I don't like what I see over there, Tugboat. Something's up if you ask me. One minute, Caetano standing at the counter, like usual, staring into that computer monitor, oblivious. Next thing I hear is this loud crash. He's on the floor, face pale, clammy hands. It's not even a real ambulance. The Human Resource Horizons logo. But hey, this is a remote part of the city, Tugboat. As long as they know the way to the hospital, right? Thought I could handle this sort of work, but with Caetano gone... We still got pizza orders coming in. I know I should relax, Tugboat. Caetano said keep the place running! But still... Help. Not a real ambulance. What a mess, on a Sunday, no less. How did he know? Well, it was a Sunday. I mean, it still is for some of us, but... 
Developers like, I know Vinny streams this on Sunday stream. That's wishful thinking. Upstairs key. Chat, I'm gonna have to come back to this. This is intriguing. I'll definitely come back to this, maybe even during the week. I can't think of a better game to have started on Pizza Day, though. There's a secret. Chat, that was a pep secret! That was a pepperoni secret. Alright, truth be told, this was sent to me by the developer, and I know the developer knows I play these games. So... It's... possible. It's entirely possible... that that's an intentional pep secret reference. Moon button. wasn't exactly a secret, it was just a pep button. But it leads to- this is a secret room. I mean... You would imagine... that your door wouldn't normally look like a pepperoni slice, or a, a slice of pizza. The nose. Oh yeah, there was a nose downstairs. What does it mean? Some light puzzle solving. And there's brains in this game, too. This is the perfect stream for me. This is relevant to most of my interests. It is a video game. Synthetic gray matter was added to your pizza station? Are you kidding me? I can add brains to my pizza? You know how smart people are gonna get? this. I need the nose. So I think I need... Cows? I need a couple of things before I can get in there. Uh, or uh, just the nose at least. I'm gonna stop here, but... I really, I really like this. I really like this. your eye like a bigger pizza pie that's some more I will have to get some other things like this this nose or maybe the the nose is someplace else I have to advance the plot We need a good picture here. 
So I'm gonna put the secret pizza room picture. No, that doesn't look great. That does look pretty decent. There's more spots for paint, uh, for pictures. Put my best pictures all over the place. I mean, we do, you know what, fair enough. In honor of Caetano. Rip. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. This was great. Definitely gonna come back to this. Boy, I hope it auto-saves. Really well optimized game too, like and it's got all the options that I need. It's just um just a high quality I mean you could call it a walking simulator if you want. I wouldn't necessarily, but it, it, it pretty you walk, it's nice, there's things to look at, it's weird. Uh, it fills all the check marks. Like it's got everything I want from a game like that. I don't think I would call it a walking simulator. But it's like a little bit of a puzzle thing. There's some pizza making. Tales from Off Peak City. Really cool game. Going to play more of it during the week. Can't wait to make brain and chocolate pizza.